Hi, everyone. 大家好 I'm Fang. 呃，我叫王芳。嗯、um, ，You know, I'm not sure how many of you are using WeChat. Great. If you don't WeChat, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, WeChat was first released in uh 2011, January 21st. In the same year, in July. With my family, we moved to Hong Kong from Beijing. So this photo always reminds me the moment、um, as a newcomer, we we brought our luggage, three big suitcase, and ready to move to the, our apartment. That's the journey. I started to use WeChat. I had a very simple purpose: connect with my family and my friends. I had no any interest to connect with anyone I don't know, or I just said hi and said bye. So that's my principle. I didn't change it until this year. So we chat. Last year, our Chinese educator Helen approached to me. Helen has a public WeChat account, and she keeps broadcasting her thoughts, her writing, through this public account. So Helen approached me, asking, "Say, Fan, do you want to share something with the Chinese educators? I feeling perhaps you should consider to do Weiqi. So Weiqi literally means the micro lessons." At the beginning, I had no interest about Weiqi, so I I, I I don't know. But I'm a very curious person, so I think let me try it, let me learn it. So I start to say, okay, I wrote the script for my Weiqi. I recorded. Actually, I didn't know how to re- record it. My daughter helps me. Then I send the audio documents to Helen. Helen helped me. To post the Weiqi to another platform called Liji, so then the Chinese educators be able to sign up to the course, and Helen connect with other WeChat public account to to share the information to promote my course. So from the beginning of the June to the first September, 173 Chinese educators sign up to this course. In this summer, I went to Suzhou to attend IB Regional Conference as a field representative. One morning, I rushed to the restaurant. I grabbed the food, and a young Chinese lady smiling at me and approached me to say, "Are you Wang 老师 I said, "Yes," and she told me, "I'm listening to your Weiqi. I like it." So what she shared with me blew my mind. I felt very humbled. To connect with a Chinese educator because of my Weiqi, so this experience truly changed my thoughts, my belief, or my my principle, how to use WeChat. As a Chinese educator living overseas, often I I I think what I can contribute to my country, what I can contribute to the educators in China. Whenever I read something good, talking about future learning, and a very provoking thoughts in education, I thought, would this one easy for my Chinese educators in China easy to access? So that's why on August 25th, my daughter's birthday, I got this simple idea. I created WeChat group. I invited people. I encourage people to connect to each other. I told them, to "Say, join this team, join this WeChat group. Let's connect." What am I doing? Whenever I read anything good on Twitter, I simply put link to WeChat. I just think what I read here, I put here. So keep all people in this group updated. That's why currently we got the. In that day, we got the 83, but I persuaded you know, Trisha Friedman <laughs> to join it. That's why now I got the 84. <laughs> so this 
So I, I told people my vision to this WeChat group focus on three simple things. Read, think, share. If you don't want to share, it's OK. You can dive in it quietly. But don't post any irrelevant advertisement to it. So my deal, actually, the data told us monthly in WeChat, we have more than 1 billion users using WeChat. So wherever you are, no matter what language you are speaking, no worry. WeChat has very good service on translation. OK, WeChat can translate. So I believe, as a connected educator, we can connect to the Chinese educator in China using WeChat. You want to connect with me? Scan the barcode. OK, <laughs> let's WeChat. We connect in one second. Thank you.